Hi there, my name is Flav and welcome back to Dreamit Modlet. Today, I bring you the fourth journal of the Uncharted series. As you may know by now, I am a huge Uncharted fan and I've been uh, doing the last three journals here on my YouTube channel and I'll post the link so you can check those videos out. So, let's see how I made the last and fourth journal. Thankfully, in Uncharted 4, there is a section on extras dedicated only to view the journal. Just this picture shows how far the video game series has come, giving me an entire section for the journal, while in the first game I could barely see any text in there. This was very helpful because I could understand and recreate every little detail in the journal and therefore create an exact replica of the journal. To transfer the image from the game to my computer, I used the share photo feature on the PS4 which made the job much easier. I just had to transfer the image to a pen drive and plug it to my computer, and that was it. When I had every image from the journal, I started to edit them on my PC. Here the process was divided in two different approaches, based on the type of photo. When I had to recreate either a text or a draw, I created a new file with the same dimensions as the notebook I used to make the journal. After that, I imported the text or draw, aligned it to make sure it was facing forward and not tilted and then use the black and white filter. This allowed me to get only the tracing and erase the other colors, cause at this point that's only noise. And this was pretty much it regarding this process. For the documents it was a bit more trickier, some of them I could use the ones that were in the photo because they had good definition on every little detail, but unfortunately most of them they didn't have that level of definition and I had to do it by hand. As you can see in the video, the quality of the ticket wasn't very good, so I decided to make one completely new from scratch. I used the one from the photo as a guideline to make sure I had every dimension of it right. And that was the process for this type of documents. But it wasn't worth to make a replica of this journal if it didn't was page by page, literally like the one that Nathan used. In order to make the manuscripts that we see in the journal feel and look more authentic, I went and used a mixture of hot water and a teaspoon of coffee. Then, with a paintbrush, I spread it, the mixture in a 120 grams A4 paper. This is a simple trick that you can use to make a brand new paper feel old and war. When all the pages were good to go, I printed the manuscripts in those papers. The drawings and the text were printed in a transfer paper, so later I could trace over them on the notebook. The documents were printed in a 120 grams A4 paper. To make the manuscripts feel even more authentic, I decided to burn the edges with a lighter, always keeping an eye out not to burn more than I wanted. This technique made the paper look even older and worse. Moving on to the notebook, here I used the transfer paper to trace over the drawings and the text. After the draw was traced down to the page, I used different pens or pencils according to what the real draw had. As you can see in the video, in this case, I opted to use a thin black pen for the outlines, a hard carbon pencil for the dark shadows and a soft carbon pencil for the lighter shadows. This combination of pens and pencils make the drawings in the journal feel more realistic and therefore the whole journal looks closer to the real one, as intended in the first place. And this was pretty much it regarding the entire process of creating the fourth and last journal of Nate's adventures.
And that's how I made the journal. So thank you for watching not only this video but all of the Uncharted videos that I made, the journals and the coin. With this journal, it comes to an end the journal series of the Uncharted and I'll be moving on to another project. But that project will be related to the Uncharted. So if you are an Uncharted fan like me, don't miss out the next project, it's going to be awesome. As I did with the other three journals, this journal is going to be listed on my Etsy store and I will leave a link on the description, so um, if you want to check that out. As always, please subscribe and like this video to keep up to date with my models and support this channel. Thank you for watching and remember, dream on!